this morning, our union has got a demonstration here outside Tottenham Court Road Station over the defence of jobs and proper financing for TfL. If you go into that station, you will see the most modern tube line that's been built in this country for decades. Monday week on June the 6th, London Underground Station staff will be out on strike in defence of their jobs, their pensions, their terms and conditions of employment. How can we find ourselves in this situation where on one hand we've got a great success story and on the other hand we're in the fight of our lives about our pensions, our jobs and our terms and conditions of employment. London Underground plan to put 600 stations jobs so the people that you see every day in and out of the station on your commute are simply not going to be there. Heathrow for instance are losing 25 staff and what that means is visitors to London, their first, first taste of London where they don't know anything about ticketing, they don't know anything about Oyster cards, they need directions, they need support. The staff are not going to be there to help them. They're the people who bore the brunt of seeing London through the pandemic and the reward now is that uh, 600 of them are to lose their jobs. They're on quite low pay. Part of that was due to reorganisation seven years ago where people were taken on for £8,000 a year less than the going rate at that time. The Mayor signed up to a statement about funding public transport for a greener planet, but at the same time, his office is in charge of a whole programme of cuts, which will see these job losses. It means more extreme shifts, starting at four in the morning, finishing at one in the morning for our staff. And what it also means for customers is the drive on women's safety that TfL claims to be committed to and the Mayor's Office claims to be committed to means nothing when it means that women commuters and women travellers are going to be leaving their trains, going through empty stations. So if you're in a situation where you might need help, the members of staff are not going to be there on hand to give you that assistance that you need. So this is the wrong thing for the staff, it's the wrong thing, thing for the customers and it's the wrong thing for London. The Mayor of London is not doing the right thing. And what he's not doing is fighting the government for a proper finance deal for TfL. One of the mad things is that the cuts that they're making are on London Underground, that are getting station staff on the Underground. And that's the bit of um, Transport for London that's profitable. And that's the bit that's kept the rest of Transport for London running. They've took all the profit out of London Underground to keep everywhere else running. The Elizabeth Line, it's basically designed to get people into the city and into Canary Wharf. It's a city that will benefit and it's there to suck capital and bring more money into the bosses. Discussions with the company went absolutely nowhere. In the end we struck on the 1st and 3rd of March. Our, our, our people were really magnificent in that action. We brought London to a standstill. So the message here this morning is a very loud and clear one from our union. We're going nowhere. We'll be back here protesting again for proper tube TfL finance and significantly we will be out on strike in force across the entirety of London Underground on the 6th of June and expect more because we're rebalancing our entire tube membership, maintenance, drivers, power control, station staff, you name it, because we're in the fight of our lives. That's what we do. That's why we're here this morning. Thank you. Yay! Yay!